I thought I'd spend a couple, a minute or so talking about WD. A lot of people ask me what WD is and who we are. WD is actually a federal department. Um, it's a fed, federal regional department that's set up in Western Canada. So we have offices in Alberta, BC, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. And we also have sister organizations in the Atlantic provinces, Quebec, and Ontario. So what is WD's vision and mandate? WD was created for diversifying the Western Canadian economy that has a strong competitive and innovative business and communities. Our mandate, we have three core. Promote development and diversification of the Western Canadian economy. Coordinate federal economic development activities in the West. So if you've all heard of the economic action plan that the federal government uh, put significant dollars in, WD played a key role in delivering some of those programs, as well as working with the provincial government and the municipalities on delivering on the Infrastructure Canada program. We represent Western interests in national decision making. So when we have issues that are affecting the West, we do go to um, Ottawa and letting uh, the politicians know what the issues are here in the West. We are headquartered in Edmonton, which is very unusual for a federal department, and we have offices in each of the four Western provinces. And our liaison office is in Ottawa. So how do we, how does WD invest? W, WD is a facilitator, a catalyst, and a funder. WD does not directly fund businesses, so a lot of you businesses here are wondering why I'm here. You'll find out at the end. I've got some examples in the end where businesses do benefit. Funding is usually done through provincially identified industry needs. Each of the four Western provinces have very different needs, and so we invest in things that are priorities in the provinces we're in. Uh, we do strategic investments through not-for-profits. We respond to opportunities. We develop strategic partnerships, and we leverage other funders. And one of the key for us is we have to measure metrics and results. As a as we're an outcome-based department, and we do report to Parliament. So what are some of WD priorities? The big one for WD is innovation. Our focus is on technology commercialization. We focus on the ICT area, health industries, climate change, environmental technologies, nanotech, and life sciences. The other key area for us is business business productivity and competitiveness, and trade and investment. Give you an idea of WD's investment in innovation. Since 2002 to 2009, for all four regions, WD has invested $417 million in innovation. And if you see the split there, Life Sciences takes the biggest split, and ICT 12%. For Alberta region, for the same period, we invested $138 million. Big chunk was um, ICT, and micro and nano is catching up there. How does WD support the conventional energy sector? As I mentioned, WD invests in not-for-profits to assist SMEs. Large corporations typically co-invest in projects we just recently announced one in Calgary with the UFC, with Bose, Hitachi, I think Dan mentioned that, Seiko, Sony, and others. Through these investments, we provide funding for equipment and operational funding, which enable new technologies to grow the market. Some of the academic institutions that have been supported by WD for applied research is Nate, SAIT, Red Deer College. As most of you know, there are challenges with technology commercialization in Canada. Despite above average economic performance, Western Canada faces significant challenges in building a knowledge-based economy. And for Western Canada, we lag behind Central Canada and comparable to US jurisdictions in publicly funded R&D, private R&D, and high tech employment and venture capital financing. So what I thought I'd do, I'd spend a couple minutes talking some, about some of the investments WD has made where SMEs have benefited. So in terms of some of the investments that were provided to Nate in Edmonton that have been focused for SMEs. 
We provided funding to the Shell Manufacturing Center, Spartan Center, Petrocan, and all of these centers, we gave them funding for equipment. And the equipment was equipment for industry. What are the industry needs? So it's an open access facility where industry can go use that equipment. And some of the outcomes we're looking at is how do we improve productivity and performance of our SMEs and training of highly skilled and capable workers. And then I thought I should do one for SAIT as well. So SAIT, WD's provided significant dollars to SAIT as well. And it's very similar to NAIT, providing access to industry for equipment usage. And a lot of the access has been to oil and gas industry, mainly in, in Calgary. So we're looking to support SMEs. We're trying to validate new technologies or refining products and processes. And again, training highly skilled people. In the conventional energy, how have we supported that industry? We've provided funding to PTAC, which is a not-for-profit organization located here in Calgary. WD provided funding of 1.7 million, really focused on the oil and gas sector, and it was mainly around demonstrations of new technologies. And what we were also looking to see was that there was increased technology commercialization. Another organization WD funded was CTAC West, located again in Calgary. And their focus was on mentoring and coaching companies in terms of trying to get products to market. And we focused that on the clean technology and environmental technology area. And then how else do we help companies? Tech Center is a joint venture between University of Alberta and Economic, Edmonton Economic Development Corporation. And the primary reason is to help companies in Alberta specifically Greater Edmonton. And so they provide regional access to business incubation, they assist university spin-offs, they, they track venture capital, and they license IP. TR Labs is a pan-Western ICT not-for-profit that has labs in Edmonton, Calgary, Saskatoon, Regina, and Winnipeg. And they focus on e-health and digital media technologies. And there has, between all the provinces, there's been significant investments made in this, in this organization trying to grow the SME community. And so we're focused again here on evaluating and demonstrating technology. And as you all know about ACAMP, ACAMP has received significant funding from the provincial government and from the federal government from the federal government through WD and also from IRAP. WD's funding was $7 million, focused on purchasing equipment where there was a need for companies. And there's a few people in this room that were part of the establishment of ACAMP. ACAMP was actually established because industry wanted it. And, um, and some of the stats on ACAMP have been amazing. Started off with helping five companies in 2008 to over 40 companies. Yes. And as you know, they have also equipment here in Calgary and Edmonton as well. Okay, it froze on. Which is fine, it's the last one. Okay. In summary, WD continues to play a heavy role in, in technology commercialization and significant investments are made in the West. In the budget last week, WD received an additional $14.7 million a year focused in technology commercialization. I just got back from Vancouver with my counterparts and figuring out how we do spend that money. And so the focus will be on technology commercialization. We are focused on, de on developing a new knowledge-based industry and Alberta and WD investments are aligned with the provincial priorities. Thank you. <laughs>